Hi friends! We just watched a really interesting video about the country of Nepal. Nepal seems like it's a really beautiful place. I would love to visit there someday. There's one thing about Nepal that is really famous. Does anybody know what that is? We learned about it in the videos. You're right. Nepal is the country where the tallest mountain in the world is located. It's located in Nepal. It's part of the Himalaya mountain range. Does anybody remember the name of the tallest mountain in the world? You're right if you said Mount Everest. And we watched a video about a young man that, that hiked Mount Everest and made it all the way to the top with his dad. That was a really interesting story. So I thought for our project to go along with Nepal, we could do something about Mount Everest. So I have decided to do an art project where we draw mountains to represent the mountains of Nepal. This is the art project that we'll be doing for the country of Nepal. We're gonna be drawing some really tall mountain peaks and adding some other shorter mountains in the foreground. So friends, let's get to it. Okay friends, to make these awesome mountain peaks, this is what we're going to need. We're gonna need a piece of white heavy paper, which is called cardstock. That's gonna be the background for our picture. Then we're going to need some lighter white paper. This is just regular printer paper. We're gonna use this to make the mountains. We're only gonna need scissors, Sharpies, and a piece of black construction paper and a piece of gray construction paper. And we're also going to be using watercolor pastels. And you can use these colors, which are the, are they warm or cool colors? You guys tell me. You're right, these are the cool colors. If you want to make your sky in cool colors, like night, uh, kind of more of a night or evening sky, you can use cool colors. Or if you'd rather have like, like a sunrise where the sun is coming up, or maybe when the sun is setting and the skies turn orange and yellow, you could use warm colors, right? So we can use warm or cool colors for our sky. So we need watercolor pastels, and we're also gonna need a glue stick. Let's get to it. Also, you're gonna need some baby wipes to wipe the watercolor pastels. All right, so I'm taking my white piece of cardstock and I'm gonna make my sky first. I think I'll make this one with warm colors since I already made this one with the cool colors. <laughs> All right, friends. Now we can set this aside for a minute to kind of dry a little bit. Then we're gonna take our regular, just printer paper and put, at least put a, another piece under it because we're gonna be using Sharpies that sometimes go through the paper. So make sure you put two pieces of paper down. And we're just gonna draw some mountain peaks and you could do it freehand. If you wanna draw a pencil first, you can. But remember something about mountain peaks. Are they exactly like triangles? Real mountain peaks? No. They're gonna be a little bit jaggedy. They might be a little bit crooked. Don't make them exactly perfect triangles or they're not gonna look like real mountains. So there's two ways you could do this actually. You can just draw them and we're gonna cut them out and make them kind of bumpy and jaggedy. Or you could, which I did on mine, I tried this too. You could rip your paper to make mountain peaks. It's probably easier just to draw them, but you can just rip your paper into triangle shapes. It's kind of hard to control it sometimes. This is an option if you want to do it this way, you can. So that's one way you could make some kind of mountain peak shapes, or you can just draw them and cut them. So I'm just gonna draw them on this one. You remember, kind of bumpy. All right, so you can do something like that. And then the next thing we're gonna do to make them look like real mountains where they look like they're really tall and they're kind of shadowy on one side, 
it looks like this might be kind of hard, but it's actually not. It's pretty easy, guys. So you just go to the very top point of your mountain and just draw a kind of bumpy line. Make it bumpy. Make it meet this line right here. I'm going to make those two lines meet. We're just doing that. And go to the top of this one. Make kind of a bumpy line down. And you're going to just make a line over here that meets it. Even on this one, you can do that. So that's what you do first. And then to make the shadows on your mountains, you can use the fine point black Sharpie, the ultra fine. And just you're gonna just draw some little lines. This is called cross hatching. It's really important that you make these go at an angle. They're diagonal. No, don't make them go across your skin and not look like real mountains. They have to go at an angle, diagonal up. Kind of just scribble those in. Then I'm gonna take my wider Sharpie, the regular Sharpie, and I'm just gonna kind of go along these edges and make a few more lines close to this. Notice I'm not making the thick ones go all the way across, kind of just more on this one side. Gives it more of a 3D look. <laughs> All right, now once you have that black and white, your mountains are just black and white, then you can cut them out with your scissors. Remember, you kind of want to keep them bumpy lines. So. We're just gonna glue this down. Get your glue. All right, that looks great. Okay, so we know in real mountains that the mountains in the background are the lightest. The further away it goes, the lighter the colors. And in the foreground, this is called foreground right down here, they're gonna be the darkest. This is one of the elements of art called value. It goes from dark to light. So down here will be the darkest mountains. And in the middle ground right here, it's gonna be lighter. So we're gonna do gray. And then the, we'll, leave the, we'll leave them white in the background. So from dark to light. So for these mountains, you can just cut some jaggedy ones, or you could rip the paper. I actually ripped the paper on this one. Whatever you feel confident about doing, if you like to rip the edges and make them kind of jaggy, you can do that. Or you could just cut them, but remember to make them jaggedy. We don't want straight triangles, because that wouldn't look real. Okay, friends, one thing about mountains is the ones closest to you are gonna be more like hills, which are more bumps. They're not super pointy. As you get further in the distance, they're gonna get more jaggedy and pointy. So I kind of made these ones kind of rounded, but these ones here are a little bit more jaggedy and pointy.
my friends, if you really wanted to add more detail to these lower hills and mountains, you could get some gray oil pastel and you can make some shadows on there. But if you don't want to, they look really cool like this too. So I think it turned out great. I hope you guys had fun learning about Nepal and the highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest. And I'm glad you guys made these great mountain projects. They're going to look so awesome in the gym for living traditions. We'll see you all next time.